This is the Transparency Podcast Show. Yeah, so uh, born and raised in Los Angeles. Um, I've been in activism probably about 11 years now. Uh, I've worked as a DJ. I've worked as an event producer. I've worked as a board member for LA Pride. Uh, I'm also the current chair of the West Hollywood Transgender Advisory Board. Uh, very excited about that. And uh, I'm all around just working really hard. Yeah. Yeah. So um, when I met you, you were in a play. Do you have any acting passions or any sort of um, practice? Yeah. In that field? Yeah. So, I mean, I've always loved acting. Um, my biggest challenge with acting is always remembering the lines. Definitely. <laughs> <Same>. um, <laughs> I always get nervous when I go to remember the lines. Um, I can I can give the passion in the character, but oh my god, when it when you're reading those lines, I just forget everything that needs to be said. And you know. yeah, so I was so amazed because play you cannot do a cut or editing. No, so I haven't. Well, I haven't done any play before. Yeah, because of my English, you know, language barrier, so I don't. Yeah. So um, so I watched the show and 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 like I was mentioned, I didn't. I couldn't tell. You're yeah. a trans man. Yeah. That, that it's a compliment. But um, so have you always been feeling different, you know, growing up? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's every trans person's story is unique. Yeah. Um, I kind of came out of the womb trans, mm -hmm. <laughs> kicking and screaming. Okay. Um, I knew I was trans from a very early age. Uh, unfortunately, I grew up in the 90s, so there wasn't any resources or even awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, trans men didn't even really exist. We had maybe one or two in media, and it was mm -hmm. very limited to even see trans mask folks. So, mm -hmm. you know, I've grown through that experience and been really intentional about being visible as a trans man because – we got to show up and show our story and really tell about yes. what we're going through so we can create these resources. Right. Yeah. Um, so when you came out, um, how do your family or friends respond to that? Oh, well, I mean, you know, for me, it's, it's been definitely a challenge. Um, I came out to my family uh, about 16 years old mm. and it didn't really go too well. I okay. actually, I left home afterwards wow. and I've been on my own Pretty much ever since with wow. any uh, blood-related relatives. Uh, recently, wow. I did reconnect with my aunt, who mm -hmm. is in New York, which is amazing. Um, someone I connected with actually at the age of 20. I didn't even know she existed. And uh, she's so queer-friendly. And it's so beautiful mm -hmm. because she originally was married to a man when I first met her. And through yeah. you know a lot of conversation that we had, she actually discovered her own sexuality in oh, that wow. process. So now I'm an elder even to my aunt. <laughs> And she calls me and it's so crazy because she's like dating all these girls and mm -hmm. asking advice. And I'm like, you just came out. What do you mean you have a date on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday? Like yeah. what is going on in New York? So it's just been this ever evolving uh, stage for me. And, you know, again, I haven't had the direct family, but I've been able to build my own family through community. Yeah, that's exactly. Because um, I... You know, oftentimes when we put ourselves out there, you know, music or even video projects, yeah. outsider will make some comments, negative comments. Yeah. And usually our response to is like, you know, you need to open your mind, you know, be open. Because you never know, maybe one of those days, somebody you know, colleague, friends or family might came out. Yeah. And then, you know, yeah. so... Um, also, what about your music um, experience? Do you... Always have passion towards music. Music has healed my soul. Music is my biggest passion. Mm -hmm. I originally um, was a, a geek in, in school. <laughs> I, I, I didn't true. go to parties or anything. I, I stayed and I learned how to play as many instruments as possible. I got into mm -hmm. electronic music at the age of 14. I was lucky enough to do that through high school. I went to the magnet program, actually. I was able to get in through that through music. And music has been a saving grace for me. It's been something so important um, to really telling my story while at the same time creating melodies and sounds and mm -hmm. lyrics that really represent what I'm going through. And it's so transformative to create a song and listen back to it. And I'd almost forget that I'm the one singing to mm -hmm. the lyrics because yes. I can relate to the singer so much because it's telling my story. And it's hard to find music like that for us. Yeah, because um, I LGBTQ love stories. I invite Shane to write a song for us. Um, we might include it in the end of the show. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, it was a great. Was a lo- I love the song. So it's a top bloodline, right? Yeah, bloodline. Is that related to what you just mentioned? Yeah, with your family? yeah. That was exactly what that was related to. Um, the experience that I had with having to learn that I had to let go of family, mm-hmm. and the pain that caused through the bloodline experience, but also realizing at the same time that the family that I can build doesn't necessarily have to be through my bloodline. I can again build it outside with community. Yes, um, we talk about family and community. Um, I went to your wedding. Yes, you did. <laughs> and One of I, only 20 people that were invited. Uh, no, well, there's people that are still mad that didn't get invited. Are you your, serious? Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm so, yeah, I'm so honored. And um, actually, actually, that was all, still up to today. That's the only wedding I went for our, in our community. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's very unique. And um, we all had a good time. And um, so now you're building your own family now, right? Yeah. So yeah. how is there? How's the journey so far? The journey has been great. You know, I've been with my wife for 17 years now. Um, I am building my career. I'm working with the city uh, with a lot of good changes, and you know, through a lot of the things that I have been able to experience, whether good or bad, um, I can always see that there's something that we're building in the end. 